So, second part. I ran out of time. We're going down to the stream now. What I wanted to say, I want to encourage you, if you are stuck somewhere in the city and if you're not privileged to be in nature right now, just start to use your spirit, your imagination. And this is so powerful. You can create, you can really envision in your mind's eye. The connection to the spirit world is really, really very, very thin right now. And you might notice already in your dreams or in your spiritual work you do right now with yoga or meditation that you get intuitive insights and especially in the Easter time see these Tibetan flags here coming close to the stream isn't that beautiful this is a place for contemplation for renewal this is what Easter is all about see this trail here the quiet trail Find your inner peace with a nice rock. The lady who's living here is doing such a nice work. She created a beautiful meditation path. And we hope that one day this opens up again and can be a wonderful retreat for people who need healing and who need some quiet space and quiet time. This is the stream. I'm going down now to the stream. And uh, yeah. I'm just meditating over the idea of the crucifixion, of the renewal and the rebirth. So in your own personal life, take some time to see what needs to be crucified, what needs to go, what has to die on a personal level, on a collective level. And just let everything go that you think that it has to be your way and allow that whole process right now to really unfold and trust completely in the divine, in the higher plan of things. And I promise you, if you really have that strong faith and that strong connection to the divine and the spirit itself, you will never let be led astray. And you can rise right into the light and become the light that you truly are. I wish everybody an amazing Easter, a resurrection, a rebirth of life itself. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.